closer than it appears. One of the largest discovery of liquid natural gas in the last two decades. For Mam Musa Njai, the fossil fuel is both a blessing and a curse. It spells the end of a lifetime catching fish in the area, but the promise of what the government says will be a prosperous future. I want us to profit from the gas because as soon as we start extracting, I expect that electricity prices, fuel, even food prices will drop and become affordable for us. He is not alone. Europeans no longer wanting to rely on Russian gas are looking at Africa to meet their energy needs. Germany and Poland have signed deals with Senegal's government. Europeans will have access to Senegal's resources before its own citizens. And so this has left many Senegalese wondering how much will they benefit from their own country's resource. Because so far for many young men, opportunity means boarding one of these fishing vessels to travel to Europe illegally. The government hopes that the gas project will stop this and bring jobs here at home. At the country's new oil and gas institute, engineers and doctorates are given certified training for industry jobs. As the resources belong to the Senegalese people. For the institute director, the fallout of the Russia-Ukraine conflict on Europe's energy problems may offer an opportunity for African countries to change the power dynamics. We want Senegalese in the leadership position. We want to be able to have, whenever it comes to decision making, this is project for Senegal, for the development of the country, and it's important that we have our uh, Senegalese national sitting at the table representing the government. The consequences of a conflict in Europe, away from this continent, is affecting Njai's future. The Senegalese Coast Guard appears in the distance, not to protect fishermen like him, but the precious new resource destined for Europe. With the state offering him training in welding and electricity, the end of life on the ocean appears to be on the horizon. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Senegal, Saint Louis.